Chapter 2 Now these are the people of the province who came back from the captivity, of those who had been carried away, whom Nebuchadnezzar the king of Babylon had carried away to Babylon, and who returned to Jerusalem and Judah, every one to his own city. Those who came with Zerubbabel were Jeshua, Nehemiah, Seraiah, Realiah, Mordecai, Bilshan, Mispar, Bigvai, Rehum, and Beana. The number of the men of the people of Israel. The people of Perosh, 2,172. The people of Shephatiah, 372. The people of Era, 775. The people of Pehath Moab, of the people of Jeshua and Joab, 2,812. The people of Elam, 1,254. The people of Zatu, 945. The people of Zakai, 760. The people of Benai, 642. The people of Bibai, 623. The people of Azgad, 1,222. The people of Adonaikum, 666. The people of Bigvai, 2,056. The people of Aden, 454. The people of Ater, of Hezekiah, 98. The people of Bezai, 323. The people of Jorah, 112. The people of Hashem, 223. The people of Gibar, 95. The people of Bethlehem, 123. The men of Netophath, 56. The men of Anathoth, 128. The people of Asmaveth, 42. The people of Kirjath Arim, Kephira, and Beeroth, 743. The people of Ramah and Geba, 621. The men of Michmash, 122. The men of Bethel and Ai, 223. The people of Nebo, 52. The people of Magbish, 156. The people of the other, Elam, 1,254. The people of Harim, 320. The people of Lod, Hadid, and Ono, 725. The people of Jericho, 345. The people of Senea, 3,630. The priests, the sons of Jediah, of the house of Jeshua, 973. The sons of Emir, 1,052. The sons of Pashur, 1,247. The sons of Harim, 1,017. The Levites, the sons of Jeshua and Kadmiel, of the sons of Hodaviah, 74. The singers, the sons of Asaph, 128. The sons of the gatekeepers, the sons of Shalom, the sons of Ater, the sons of Talmon, the sons of Akub, the sons of Hatita, and the sons of Shobai, 139 in all. The Nethanim, the sons of Zaicha, the sons of Hashufa, the sons of Tobeoth, the sons of Kiros, the sons of Siaha, the sons of Pedon, the sons of Lebena, the sons of Hagaba, the sons of Akub, the sons of Hagab, the sons of Shalmai, the sons of Hanan, the sons of Giddel, the sons of Gehar, the sons of Reaiah, the sons of Rezin, the sons of Nekoda, the sons of Gazam, the sons of Uzzah, the sons of Pasiah, the sons of Besai, the sons of Asna, the sons of Meunim, the sons of Nephusim, the sons of Bakbuk, the sons of Hakufa, the sons of Harhur, the sons of Basluth, the sons of Mahida, the sons of Harsha, the sons of Barkos, the sons of Sisera, the sons of Tama, the sons of Neziah, and the sons of Hatipha, the sons of Solomon's servants, the sons of Sotai, the sons of Sophoreth, the sons of Peruda, the sons of Jeala, the sons of Darkon, the sons of Gidel, the sons of Shephatiah, the sons of Hatil, the sons of Pokoreth of Zebaim, and the sons of Amai. All the Nethanim and the children of Solomon's servants were three hundred and ninety-two. And these were the ones who came up from Tel-Mila, Tel-Harsha, Chirub, Adan, and Imer. But they could not identify their father's house or their genealogy, whether they were of Israel. The sons of Deliah, the sons of Tobiah, and the sons of Nekoda, six hundred and fifty-two. And the sons of the priests, the sons of Hebeiah, the sons of Koz, and the sons of Barzillai, who took a wife of the daughters of Barzillai the Gileadite, and was called by their name. These sought their listing among those who were registered by genealogy, but they were not found, therefore they were excluded from the priesthood as defiled. 
And the governor said to them that they should not eat of the most holy things till a priest could consult with the Urim and the Thummim. The whole assembly together was forty-two thousand three hundred and sixty, besides their male and female servants, of whom there were seven thousand three hundred and thirty-seven, and they had two hundred men and women singers. Their horses were seven hundred and thirty-six, their mules two hundred and forty-five, their camels four hundred and thirty-five, and their donkeys six thousand seven hundred and twenty. Some of the heads of the fathers' houses, when they came to the house of the Lord which is in Jerusalem, offered freely for the house of God to erect it in its place. According to their ability, they gave to the treasury for the work of sixty-one thousand gold drachmas, five thousand minas of silver, and one hundred priestly garments. So the priests and the Levites, some of the people, the singers, the gatekeepers, and the Nethanim, dwelt in their cities, and all Israel in their cities.' 